welcome back to Red Ted Art. Don't forget to subs subscribe if you like what you see today. Anyway, what we're going to show you today is an up project. This is a wonderful way of doing winter trees um, in a really easy and simple way. And it looks so effective. Um, this is a, a post that um, the educator spin on it did for me on Red Ted Art, and I'm having a go brilliant what you need is some watercolors some paper and some masking tape now my masking tape is really sticky and it means it sometimes tears my paper so i'm just going to use an art rag here just to kind of take a bit of the stick of it off and then before i stick it on my paper because i really don't want my paper to break and then i'm going to stick it on my sheet of paper now the thing about uh, even if it does tear your paper a little bit um, remember, it just adds sort of to the kind of overall effect of the picture, I think. Right, do the next sheet. Give it a good pat just to lose some of the stickiness. You know, it could be that your masking tape is already fine. For some reason, mine, you know, kind of tears mine. And also, I don't pat it down too hard. It doesn't matter if the ink runs in a bit. I'm just worried that I'll tear my paper. If it does tear your paper, which is quite possible, don't panic because you can actually, you know, later use a bit of print stick and stick it back down. So I'm just drawing lines here, but sticking down lines, which are going to be the bodies of my birch trees. So birch trees are really nice, white, silvery, um, sort of wintry tree, you know, my eyes, and it's a really nice activity to do. You know, this time of year and what I love about this art is that it's a, it's a great way to show that anyone can can paint if that makes sense now this time I'm going to just cut a little piece because I want a neat edge because this is going to be um, part of the tree stumps that makes sense there we go now I'm going to tape it again so I'm trying to take some of the stickiness off so now I'm preparing sort of the detail of the tree there we go. You can have one or two, you know, choose whatever looks right to you. You might have two on this one, a little bit lower down. And then the final one on the end one. Might put one on back on the beginning as well. Here we go. Let's see at the beginning. Might put one more here just because I feel like it. And then you just get your watercolours and then you start painting. So because it's wintry colours, it's going to be like blues and reds. Mainly blue because um, it works, the, you know, I quite like that as a colour. So get your, your brush nice and wet. Get your watercolours. There you go. A bit more water because I want this to be quite watery. And then just go over like this. Can you see? And um, I don't actually want too much colour. I mean, I want some colour, obviously. But um, it's actually... I'm quite happy for it to be quite sort of wishy-washy looking because I want it to look like a, a wintry sky. So I'm going to cover the whole paper, nice and watery. Maybe add a bit of colour as we go along, but we'll see. La -la -la. I do love painting, and I think this is a great piece of art for any age group actually. Whether you're, you know, my age, or whether you're five, or whether you're fifteen, I think if you're into art. This is something that can really appeal to everyone. So I've got the blue. Now I'm going to get a little bit of red. Kind of, you know, like you get something like sort of that sun shining through. But I'm going to make it really watery, the red. And I want it to go purpley. So you can, you can see it's already mixing with the blue on the paper, making it quite purpley. There we go. Maybe just for a bit of variety because I can add a bit of orange over here now I wouldn't add yellow <laughs> because if you do add yellow what you'll get is green so stick to stick to some blues and uh, reds and then th they should mix nicely into you know staying blue or um, you know a little bit of purple type colors which are nice wintry colors so right so now you let, let that dry and once it's dry, um, we'll peel off the masking tape. So let's wait a few minutes and come back. It should dry quite quickly because watercolours do dry quickly. So um, we'll be back in just a minute. Bye. Okay, so now your uh, tree's a little bit drier. Now comes the moment of truth. Now we're going to start trying to peel very carefully. 
um, your masking tape off. Now mine, it's already tearing a little bit, but like I said before, it's not the end of the world because it just adds texture to your tree. So do it very carefully. You know, if need be, do it in parts. Because I often find that if you've got a little tear going on, it'll just continue. So here you go, first bit off. And then here comes the next bit. Again, if you find that your colours run a bit, to be honest, it doesn't matter. It's all part of the process and it just looks really nice. Anyway, here's a little tear again, so I'm just going to try and get this off. There we go. You can sort of see the texture now on there from the tears. So, you know, like I said, don't panic. It still looks nice. And also, the drier your masking tape, the less it will tear. And I'm Mrs. Impatient. I can't wait for things, so I tend to just get it all off a bit early. Here we go. I think masking tape is also called builder's tape in some areas of the world. So it's basically this tape, or painter's tape actually, that's the word. Right, so now, that's I'm going to glue down later, so now you've got your tree outline. What are you going to do next? This is um, a pen that's a bit like a crayon actually, I just happen to have, this is the, the black crayon I happen to have handy, but obviously you don't have to have the same sort of black cr crayon as us, so you can have your own. So now you do the outlines. On this, at the ends, I like to add a little circle like this to make it kind of tree stumpy. So don't don't draw over here, that's just sort of connecting the tree. Draw your tree stump like this. And then later, you know, you can if you want add details such as a little bird sitting on a perch. So you've got your basic tree and you get your watery brushes. Some it's going to be really watery and you add a little bit. This is the black, so I do want it quite watery. In fact, I'm going to change and use a thinner brush. So here's a thinner one. Let's try again. And then you just add little details that kind of represent, you know, the lines you get on birch trees. There you go water, a bit more colour, and then you can have a couple going around here, maybe do that. And there you've done your own wintry birch tree. So I hope you've enjoyed this and um, you know see you again soon. A really simple art project for you to do at home.